Hello friends, my name is Sagar More and I welcome you to the tutorial of how to create dependent drop-down list using jQuery and JSON without database. So if you have not yet watched my previous part of this video, then you can watch it with the help of the link which is in the description below. So in this video, I am going to show you how can you create the dependent drop-down list using jQuery. So for that we have taken the example of country, state and the districts and we are going to create dependency in between these three select boxes and the, our desired output should be if I select country on the basis of country it should populate the states inside the country and when I select the state it should populate the district which are related to that state. So we are going to use the previous code which we have used in our previous example. So if you want the code you can download it with the help of link which I have given in the description below. To start with the example we have file ready with us. So we have HTML ready and in the first video we have populated all the list in the country drop down lists using JSON and in this example we are going to populate states and districts on the basis of selected country. So in our custom.js file, we have already written the code to populate the list of countries into the country dropdown list. Now I'm going to write the code to populate all the states in the state dropdown list. For that, we will require list of states in JSON format. And I'm going to consider Indian states for this example. And for that, you can search on Google and get all the Indian states in JSON format. I have named the file as indianstates.json. Let me open the file and show you how it looks. So as you can see here only key value records are there separated by comma. Key is the code for the states and value describes the state's name. We are going to call this indianstates.json file into our custom.js file and we want all the list of states to be populated inside states id which is a id of select box and we are going to populate all the records on the basis of country value so first of all we need to write code as on change of country which is a drop down list of country so inside the change function we are going to write so we are going to populate all the records inside state select box so that's why we should first call indianstate.json file into our custom JS file with the help of getJSON method. For that we need to copy this method and paste it again here and let me change the file name which is indianstate.json and to populate all the records inside state id which is the id of select box of states we need to write state name and instead of i which is an index we are going to write state code we are also going to change the value inside our logic as state name and the state code for option value here we are going to create state options variable to save concatenated result to append the list of states into the select box for that we need to create state options variable on top of the document like we had created country options variable for countries. So it is going to save all the options for states so it can populate the records in state dropdown list. So let me go ahead and run the page to show you the output. So as you can see here by default it is populating all the state records. So we actually want it to be populated on the basis of country change. So we want a condition here so let me write the if condition so i am writing a if condition so inside if condition i am writing this keyword so this refers to the current element which is a country drop down list so on country drop down list we are checking its values and if the user selects value as in which is for india then we are going to call indian states dot json file and then we are going to populate all the states in the state drop down list So here I have written the condition 
and let me run the page to show you the output. So here if I select any other country it is not going to populate the states but if I select India it has populated all the states which are related to India. You can inspect the elements and see the state codes and country codes also. So here we have created a dependency in between country and states. So if we select India then only it is going to populate states which are related to India country. Now we are going to go ahead and create more dependency level. For that we are going to create the logic to populate districts on the basis of selected state. And for that you will require JSON format for all the states. And here we are going to populate all the list of districts which are present in mhdistrict.json file only and only when if user selects Maharashtra states. So here we have mhdistrict.json file ready with us. I got it from the net. If you search for your state, you may get the JSON format of districts. So here we want a logic like when I change the states to Maharashtra, then only it should populate all the states related to Maharashtra. For that, I need to copy this code and paste it here. And let me change the selector to state. So on change of state, we are going to check the value. If it is MH, which is Maharashtra, as it is written in the Indian state.json file, the code is MH for Maharashtra. And we have MH district.json file, which is going to populate all the records for Maharashtra district only. So let me call the JSON file with the help of MH district.json if the value is mh which is maharashtra so with the help of district dot name we can get the value of all the districts from mh district dot json file for that we need to create a variable district options on top of the page like we had created for country and states so let me run the page and show you the output so here as you can see all the list of countries are there. So if I select India, then the states are getting populated. And if I select any other state, the district is not getting populated. But if I select Maharashtra state, then only the district records are getting populated inside the district dropdown list. So friends, likewise, you can create your own code by referring to this example. If you want to download the code, then the links are given in the description below. If you have not watched my previous or other tutorials, then you can watch it from my channel only. If you like the video, click on like button. Comment down below if you have any suggestions. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming video notifications. Share this video by sharing the video link with your friends and family. And finally, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Be technical.